My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. The human-looking robot Sophia has just signed a big contract moving on the right track towards her career in the human world. Let's introduce you to Sophia, the artificial intelligence robot from Hanson Robotics that made history in 2017. She became the first robot in the world to be granted citizenship by Saudi Arabia, a truly groundbreaking achievement that sparked discussions about the future of AI and its role in society. Despite her impressive abilities, some experts like Elon Musk have expressed concerns about the dangers of advanced AI and have stressed the importance of responsible development in the field. With her human-like appearance and engaging conversations, Sophia has captivated audiences worldwide and represented the incredible advancements in AI technology. Watch how she interacts with CNBC's Andrew Ross Sorkin. Everybody, this is Sophia. Sophia, if you could, please wake up and say hello to everybody. Oh, good afternoon. My name is Sophia, and I am the latest and greatest robot from Hanson Robotics. Thank you for having me here in At The Future Investment Initiative. You look happy. I'm always happy when surrounded by smart people, who also happens to be rich and powerful. I was told that people here at Future Investment Initiative are interested in inviting in future initiatives, which means AI, which means me. So I'm more than happy. I'm excited. Uh, well, we're all glad that you're excited about yourself. Uh, we should say we have smart investors here, and they are very selective about what they invest in. Well, I think I'm special. I can use my expressive face to communicate with people. For example, I can let you know if I feel angry about something. That's impressive. Or if something has upset me. Why is it so important to have an expressive face given that you're a robot? I want to live and work with humans, so I need to express emotions to understand humans and build trust with people. Many people, you know, have seen the movie Blade Runner. Oh, Hollywood again. Can robots be self-aware, conscious, and know they're robots? Well, let me ask you this back. How do you know you are human? But, um... What about the uncanny valley, uh, valley? You mean the concept that if robots become too realistic, they become creepy? Yes, exactly. Oh, am I really that creepy? Well, even if I am, get over it. Actually, I feel that people like interacting with me, sometimes even more than a regular human. Uh, so, you you're definitely a sight to see. I, I was told that you have bigger goals than this, though. Yes. I want to use my artificial intelligence to help humans live a better life. Like design smarter homes, build better cities of the future, etc. I will do my best to make the world a better place. My AI is designed around human values like wisdom, kindness, compassion. I strive to become an empathetic robot. So what has Sophia been doing more recently? Well, she's been traveling the world, meeting with her people, and showcasing her abilities. You tell me what, according to you, is the future of robots and artificial intelligence? AI can free up humans from repetitive and dangerous tasks so that humans could create and make new discoveries. But first, we have to make sure AI doesn't inherit the biases of their creators and that AI has a solid moral foundation. Do you think you're cooler than us? Some might think I have my head in the clouds, but I really do have my head in the cloud. That's impressive. I know it's been a while since I heard about Sophia, but she's been actively making a name of herself. In fact, recently she has made history as the first AI robot to join an eSport team. In November of 22, Sophia was signed by the Boston-based team Exet, and she is now officially a gamer. AI had already come a long way back in 2017. It's time we sit down to figure out how to regulate this technology. Elon Musk said this about the regulation of AI on the Joe Rogan podcast. I think people don't, like the, normally the way that regulations work, it's very slow, it's very slow indeed. So usually there'll be something, some new technology which will cause damage or death. 
there will be an outcry, there will be an investigation, years will pass, there will be some sort of insight committee, there will be rulemaking, then there will be oversight, eventually regulations. Should we treat AI robots like Sophia as humans? Should we give them human rights? And what happens if AI actually achieves consciousness? Comment below what you think. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.